Hi, it's Mr. Warren. Let me uh, run through this problem that uh, some folks put the skeleton together of. Um, so we have a combustion reaction um, and then uh, the following setup. So at 12 degrees Celsius you have 3.1 liters of um, C6814 or 5.5 atmospheres of pressure. We want to figure out how many liters of water um, would be produced when the pressure is one atmosphere and the temperature 18 degrees Celsius. Um, so the assumption we have to make here is that water is going to be produced as a vapor, so we're going to come up with uh, uh, how many liters of, of water as a gas um, that's going to be. So I'm first going to need to balance that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so you can watch me suffer here. Um, so. Uh, I feel like I want to put a 7 there, but that's not going to do it because it's an odd number. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to put 14 there, which means I need to put 2 here, which makes 12. I've got to go 12 there, and then figure out what's going on with oxygen. So I have 24 oxygens plus 14 oxygens, 24, 28. 38, 19. That looks good to me. All right, so then let's go over to a blank wall here and work on the problem. So I've got to, this is going to be a gas law entry into things here. So we have, uh, we have to figure out how many moles of um, C6H14 we have. So I'm going to use the ideal gas law, um, and I need to solve it for number of moles. So number of moles is going to be pressure times volume over the constant times T. Um, so I know pressure is 5.5 atmospheres. Um, volume is 3.1. Liters. That's going to be divided by the temperature. So 12 degrees, 273, 283, 285 Kelvin. I'm going to multiply it by my constant, which is going to be on the bottom. So 1 over 0 0.0821. And then I need to flip the units over. So the units are going to be atmosphere liters on the bottom and moles Kelvin on the top, so I can do some cancellation here. All right, this is going to give me number of moles. All right, <clears throat> I just need to do the math. 5.5 times 3.1, so that's 17.05. out to be 0.729 moles. Alright, so we've got that down up here. 0.729 moles of C6 H14. Alright, and then I can use a BCA table to get through the reaction. Alright, so So we are starting with 0.729 moles. That's going to go down by minus 2x. Um, I'm going to have to. I have to make the assumption that um, we have unlimited oxygen. So we don't need to think about that. That's a potential limiting reactant. So the C6H14 is going to go to zero. I'm trying to figure out. Um, liters of water produced. So water is going to start at zero, go up by 14x. We're going to get an after value for water. So 0.729 minus 2x is going to equal zero. 
2x, 0.729, x is equal to 0.364. Alright, so then I need to do 0 plus 14 times 0.364 equal the after value. So after is going to equal 5.101. Alright, so we have 5.101 moles of oxygen and we're trying to figure out, oh, sorry, water. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to figure out how many liters of gaseous water, so water vapor, uh, we're going to have. So we're going to go back into um, PV equals NRT, this time solving it for V. It's going to be NRT over P. Uh, yeah. Um, so then I can just plug stuff in, 5.101 moles, we're at 18 Celsius, so that's 273, 283, 291 Kelvin, pressure is 1 atmosphere, and then we multiply by R, 0 0.0821 over 1, and its units are it's a liter. Um, no, that's an atmosphere. Would be um, a liter atmospheres mole Kelvin. Oh, you can't see that over here. Yeah, we're doing okay. Um, okay, so the unit cancellation the atmospheres are going to cancel out. Kelvin's going to cancel out. Moles is going to cancel out, so it's going to leave us with liters. And we just need to do the arithmetic. Uh, so 5, 5, 291 times 0 0.821. So that's 121.863 liters. And that's over 1, so actually I'm done. The volume that we're going to produce here is 121.863 liters of water vapor. Thanks for torturing me. Um, see you around.